Alright guys, today we're going to do something quick and easy, but yet delicious, something your entire family will enjoy. We're just going to make some spicy, crispy chicken strips with a little special sauce. I think you're going to like it. I've been marinating some chicken. Let me get some salt. You want to get the brine going. The salt gets in the membranes, make your chicken nice and moist and juicy. So we started a couple boneless skinless chicken breasts. I cut it up. You didn't need to see that because I'm cutting chicken, I think. You can figure that part out. Cut it up, put it in with a brine of water, some salt, some pepper, and some sugar, and mix that up really good. And then I put a little buffalo sauce in there just to give it a little bit of life. And that's been resting in here for a few hours, getting that marinade just soaked through and stuff. So I'm going to let that rest. We're going to start getting our ingredients together. And here we go. First one, dry ingredients. Alright, so with the dry ingredients, first thing we're going to do is some flour. We're not going to measure this out. Everything's in proportion. So whether you have one pound, two pounds, three pounds, you can be feeding an army. So we just kind of figure this out. I'm going to put in about a cup of just all-purpose flour. About a cup right there. Do that, as always, fresh ground cracked black pepper. Always fresh ground. Difference night and day. Put in some salt. Salt is just a flavor enhancer, so you gotta make sure you get salt in there. Garlic powder, onion powder, Kind of obligatory in any of these types of things you're making. Oh, the cannoli one's a little bowling. A lot of garlic. We love it. We lose a lot of it when we're cooking. Onion powder. Same thing. Don't be stingy. We lose a lot of it in the oil. That's just fine. Now, since it's spicy, got some buffalo sauce with the marinade, but cayenne pepper. In here, that is a lot of cayenne. My wife can handle it. Now, we're just going to mix this together. All right, so we have the seasonings in there. You know what? I'm going to throw in a little bit more cayenne. Why not? You only live once. Mix that up. Spicy chicken, right? Gotta have some cayenne. Where's my grandson when he would say, chicken? All right, there's our dry ingredients. Set this off to the side for a moment. Now come the wet ingredients. We're gonna have our egg wash. I'm gonna use three eggs. Don't crack them on the side, it'll split. You get the shells in there. Go here. Don't know how, but shells don't go in there. So I'm gonna use three eggs. Holy can only really no shells in there. Best of intentions, normally you still have a little bit of an issue with that. And the buffalo sauce in there. Spicy again, just another layer. We want to layer, layer, layer. Take another fork, we're just going to whisk this together. So we're just going to have some spicy egg wash. Mix this up really good. Don't be afraid, don't be stingy. You're not a huge spice fan, but you want a little bit of flavor. You know, maybe skip the hot sauce or the buffalo sauce on this step. But you want to make sure you get that in there as best as you can. Nice and easy. Let's get everything out of the way. The dredging process. Pretty simple. Again, I think most of you are smart enough to handle this. We are going to take our well marinated chicken, shake off as much of this as you can, put it in your flour mixture. 
You want to go wet hand, dry hand. I'm not going to do that as much because I'm going to wash my hands between every couple pieces and I'm not going to know the difference. Make sure everything's covered. Very important. Okay, brush some of this off. Again, the wind's taking it. Now we're going to dip it in our egg wash. Again, make sure everything's coated. Not anything extra off that you can. And right back into the flour. I have a dry fork here. We can move things around. We want to make sure, again, this is well covered. Try to get all them nook and crannies. We don't want any dry spots. The more flour and seasonings we have on here, the more it's going to help. And now, check out anything extra. And we're going to let these rest for about 10 minutes just so that coating can really adhere to it. The oil is heating up. Now we're going to do this with the rest of the pieces of chicken and I think you can figure it out from there. Okay, so we got our chicken all breaded, double breaded, sauce, everything's marinated, everything should be coated good. We're using recycled oil because if Greta Thornburg taught us anything, let's save the planet. So now, and this has been resting about 10 minutes. You really want to let that breading set into the skin as much as possible. Lay it into your 375 degree oil, laying it away from you. And look at my hands. I told you I got none on me. How about that? that sizzle. And that's what we're looking for. We're going to cook this chicken in two batches. When this comes up, once it is a nice golden brown, we're going to flip it about halfway through. We're going to take a spider, we're going to pull it out and really check the temperature of the oil. We're going to pull that out, let it rest a little bit, and then we'll get ready to finish up. or two. Put these over at the end. We'll cook it up beautifully. This is going to be perfect. Check the oil now. The temperature is going down after you put the chicken in. Perfect. Obviously, your chicken is going to cool off once it cool off the oil once it hits it. We started the oil at about 375, down to about 350. So, if you get it too hot, you're going to burn the outside without cooking the inside. If you get it too low, it's going to take too long to cook. And you're really just going to sit there soaking up oil, and you want to avoid that as well. So you want to start at about 375, expect it to come down a little bit. You can do this on your stove, right in your kitchen or in a fry daddy. We're just having to be using the turkey fryer. Concept is all the same. So now that the chicken is floating, and you got that nice golden brown, that pretty much she's, she's ready to pull out. Put it on the napkins here, get rid of some of this excess oil and try to shake some off before we can get to it. I got a feeling this is going to have that perfect crunch we want with the double dip. And I know it's 350 degrees, but that's not the heat we're looking for. are going to have some heat on this chicken, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to make it be uncomfortable, but if you're going to make spicy chicken, make spicy chicken. All right, so we got one set done. We do this one more time, same thing.
as your chicken starts to cook, that oil will heat back up. So we're back up close to the 375. In goes batch number two. Simple as that. When this comes up, we now have dinner for the whole family. And uh, we're going to do the same process with this one. Give us a couple minutes, flip it. Give it a couple minutes more. We're going to have some beautiful spicy chicken. I got a special sauce. I'll show you how to make that while this is cooling and resting. Life will be good. All right. Second batch is flipped. I apologize about the swimming trunk. Hey, what about the new three suitcases shirt? Now that it's dirty from doing this, what do you think? Eat, drink, travel. Three suitcases representing uh, swimming trunks. Once I get everything kind of set up and we had a little bit of time where the marinade and everything was set up, we went to uh, we went swimming and I don't know, live in Mexico now, so uh, I didn't change my shorts. I haven't worn shoes and putting sandals on anymore. It feels like I'm wearing church shoes. So we try to avoid that, but I have worn socks since Minnesota in May, which can still have snow on the ground, by the way. We don't get much snow here. Anyways, just kind of killing some time. While the chicken's cooking, keep playing around with this. This is a spicy, crispy chicken strip. Again, chicken, as my grandson Emmett would say, but any way you say chicken, it's gonna be delicious. Let these drain. GBD, golden brown and delicious. Kind of jealous, aren't you? All right, so we're ready to take a bite of this delicious spicy chicken. I made a sauce to go with it. I have never eaten at Raisin Cane's, but their claim to fame is really their sauce. That is People rave about it, people travel for miles around, they got fans clubs just for their sauce. I just use a copycat recipe. One thing I will tell you, don't just make it and prepare it and eat it. You gotta let it rest. Some people say overnight, give it at least 24 hours. I've been trying to experiment with it. We gave this 36 hours. It has half a cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of ketchup, a teaspoon of freshly ground cracked black pepper. That can never stop quarter teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of garlic powder, and a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. Kind of gives it that umami. It's really what we're looking for. So I'm going to try a little bit of that with it. On this side, I have buttermilk ranch. Did I make it? Absolutely not. Came out of a bottle. My wife is not as much into the spice as I am. She's going to want some ranch to cool hers off. Anyways, enough talk. Let's try a bite. Let's see if we can hear this, by the way. Hear that crunch? That's what you're looking for. That's that double dipping on the outside batter. Okay, guys, between the brine and you, you heard the crispiness from just me trying to cut it with a fork. You could actually hear that on the camera. But if you look at this, you can still see the moisture. It's literally almost running down my hand with moisture. I mean, you got crispy and moist. It is absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna try this with the sauce now and see if uh, I did that right.
Mm. I'm not joking. I could eat this every other night. This is fantastic. I could use a little bit more spice, but that's just me. It has plenty. It'll be plenty spicy for my wife. I'd maybe dust up a little bit of pepper and cayenne just because I really love the spice. But it has plenty of heat. Trust me. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love it. Try this recipe. For three suitcases, we hope you enjoy these videos. We enjoy bringing them to you. The grandkids are watching. Come on down. We're going to make you some chicken strips. Whatever you want. Papa's got anything you need. Let's eat.